<clears throat> Hi guys, it's Monster Camera here again today, and um, I haven't put up a vlog, I think, for the past two days, uh, because I've been feeling like shit. Yeah, really, I've been feeling really bad. And, uh, I don't know, it's, it's like, uh, it comes and it goes, you know? Um, but yeah, that's besides the point. Um, so yeah, um, that Dead Finger, um, I love Dead Finger, by the way. Um, yeah, that really pissed me off. I think this is the third time I'm saying it. Um, um, them dropping to a free-to-play model and, you know, after having you paid a dollar. Uh, but they claim it's because of piracy. So let me get this straight. Uh, you, you have a game and you sell it for a dollar. And let's say 100,000 people download it legit. So that's $100,000. And let's say 900,000 people illegally download it. So you give it away for free and you make more money because of piracy. Well, kind of, that's kind of what they're saying. Um, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, they want to give it away for free, and they'll use the in-app purchases to, to you know to uh, make up for the loss in the initial sale price. I, I kind I just don't get it though, because people are already uh, illegally acquiring it, well not even whatever you want to call it, illegally acquiring. It. But they still can do in-app purchases if I'm not mistaken. They might not be able to rate it, if I'm not mistaken as well, but uh, they can do in-app purchases. So why stop, you know, why not legit uh, let people legitimately buy it and get that dollar and still get some money rather than give it away for free and then blame piracy? And then uh, you put this, uh, this uh, shadow of doubt on Android. Yes, there's a lot of piracy in Android. Yes, there's a lot of piracy everywhere in the world. Android, it's not, you know, it's not Android specific, it's a, it's a, it's a whole ecosystem. Uh, and the free play model, uh, it's a good model. But if you've played Dead, if you've, uh, played Dead Trigger, you know um, how bad it is. Uh, well, not really, but there's a lot of grinding before you can get anything worthwhile or have any kind of feeling of progression. And that's what it amounts to. Um, pretty like Tribes Ascend that just got released on the PC. Um, you can uh, you can play, it, but it's a, there's a lot of grinding to it before you get any of the cool weapons and uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, but piracy as a whole, there's so many ways to combat piracy. Um, let's say for movies region specific pricing uh, I think is a very bad idea and region specific release dates is an even worse idea unless there's some kind of law or something that's not you know perfectly legal in that video um, I don't see why you should like uh, you know release it in only certain regions and then when the people want to watch it because there was this uh, argument about I think it was Game of Thrones how it's uh, you know downloaded uh, uh, illegally uh, a lot because you know lack of availability. So if you don't give people the options, multiple options, they will take the the easier route, and sometimes that it, that amounts to pirate pirating. Although I don't even like the word, the term pirating, but uh, whatever. And um, but look at Netflix. Netflix, I think, is a, a, a successful business model that other uh, companies uh, should follow. Netflix, there's uh, Microsoft Zoom Pass, although I think it was very popular, and there's Spotify. Um, you pay a certain amount uh, every, you know, every month, and you get unlimited access to whatever you want. I think that's the way it should go. Uh, it'd be interesting uh, to see how that works out for games. Um, wouldn't it be, uh, be pretty good if you just paid like uh, $20 a month and you have unlimited access to whatever Steam game you want? I think that would be a good idea. But, uh, I don't know, big business, man. Oh, well, I think indie devs would be down for something like that. But it's the big publishers, uh, you know, like uh, EA and Activision and so forth. 
uh, they're, those are the ones uh, slowing down, you know, the, the advancement and the changes. Uh, people want what they want, when they want it, and how they want it. They don't want to be told what to do. I just don't get the mentality behind these uh, big money grubbing uh, corporations. Just give the people what they want and you'll make so much more money. Why only, uh, I know this is just a nitpick, but why are movies only in you know certain formats like uh, MPEG or what have you? Why don't they like uh, sell them, you know, XVID or or DivX or you know MKV or uh, chip it in MKV or something like that? Why don't they do that? You know, because people are eventually going to do that too. They're going to you know send it through their, their handbrake and uh, all the other uh, converters. So I don't, I don't know why they don't do it. Um, I think they need to to change I think they 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 need to change <laughs> stream of consciousness people um what else do I want to talk about yeah that's was uh, that's what, basically what's been on my mind this whole uh dead trigger piracy thing uh, I don't think piracy is such an issue I think you know I don't know I don't have software, I don't sell software or any kind of content, so maybe I'm not in the right position to uh, to be saying these things. Maybe I don't fully understand how it feels to, to have your product out there and not make any money because people pirate it. So uh, take my opinions with a grain of salt and form your own opinions. Um, yeah, and also Dead Trigger. I think they kind of deserve it. I don't want to be an asshole about this, but um, I think it, aren't they getting paid by Nvidia to be that um, an Nvidia partner thing with the Tegra Zone crap? You saw my video. I, I completely despise Nvidia's um, you know marketing ploys like a Tegra Zone and the way it's meant to be played. I think it's just it's a horrible idea. Uh, Tegra Zone, the way it's meant to be played, CUDA, Physex, all, you know, proprietary, all locked down, and and it, it just sucks, man. You have a Radeon card, you can't use Physex because there's, a, uh, because they blocked the workaround where you can use like a lower end uh, NVIDIA card to, to run Physex on or something like that. There's no uh, uh, software way, uh, method to run Physex properly. So, um, I don't know, man, whatever. I think that's it for today. Peace.